How Spiders Saved Valentine's Day, written and illustrated by Robert Krauss. It was Valentine's Day and I was hurrying to school. I stopped at the store and bought a bag of Valentine candy and the last two Valentines on the counter. I got to school just as the last bell rang and put my valentines in the valentine box. One for Ladybug and one for Fly. At recess, I shared my valentine candy with Fly and Ladybug. Ladybug chose a heart that said, kiss me, and I really would have liked to. Greedy Fly took two hearts. One said, far out, and the other said, cool. I sure am, said Fly. I wondered if I should share the candy with the two caterpillars who sat in the back. They were always so hungry, and I had forgotten to get them valentines. They're asleep, said Ladybug. They're always asleep, said Fly. Sure enough, the two hungry caterpillars were sleeping soundly with their big fur coats pulled over their heads. They just eat and sleep, said Fly lazy bugs. Then the recess bell rang and we all hurried back to the classroom to get our valentines. Miss Guido, our teacher, reached in the valentine box and passed out the valentines. I got one from Ladybug, one from Fly, and one from each of the hungry caterpillars who sat in the back. Fly got one valentine from me, one from Ladybug, and one from each of the hungry caterpillars who sat in the back. Ladybug got one valentine from me, one from Fly, and one from each of the hungry caterpillars who sat in the back. All the valentines were passed out and nobody had gotten a valentine for the two caterpillars who sat in the back. It was pathetic. They had been sleeping so much, we forgot they were there. But they were there, and it was too late to get them a valentine now, or was it? The two caterpillars were still sound asleep. Then I got an idea. I took my candy hearts and pasted them all over Fly. Then I borrowed Ladybug's lipstick and lipstick myself all over. I sucked in my breath until I looked like a heart. What about me? asked Ladybug. You're so pretty. You're a valentine just as you are, I said. Now, everybody, jump into the valentine box. Miss Guido put the lid on the box. Hey, I can't breathe, shouted Fly. Then Miss Guido took the lid off the box and we all leaped out and shouted, Happy Valentine's Day, hungry caterpillars! They woke up, but would you believe it? They weren't caterpillars anymore. They were beautiful butterflies. They thanked us for our Valentines and we thanked them for theirs. Even Fly was nice. Miss Guido played I Love You Truly on the piano, and we all sang. You've done it again, Spider, said Ladybug. Done what? Grumble Fly. Saved, said Miss Guido. Valentine's Day, said the two butterflies who sat in the back. And I guess I had. I was very happy. Happy Valentine's Day from Ladybug, Fly, and Spider. <laughs>